Cheers. Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches. Episode 52. Mm-hmm. So we are reviewing Love and Mercy. Or as April likes to call it, Love Ampersand Mercy, because that's the only way you can find it on IMDb. I just really think, I'm going to go on a time read. I just really think that IMDb should just automatically convert ampersands to ands. It should. If you type in love it and should be mercy, either or. it'll figure it out. It because it be, doesn't and it's stupid. It is stupid. Anyway, that's my soapbox. I've said my piece. <laughs> it makes me mad. Anyway. anyway. So, okay, so this is the Brian Wilson, that's his name, right? Yep. Brian Wilson movie um, about, you know, like the Beach Boys and, and his, well, it's really about him. It's not about the Beach Boys. It's really not about the Beach Boys, which was kind of, one of my problems with it. Okay. I, so there's two movies. There's yeah. the Paul Dano back in the 60s, early days, Brian Wilson. Yeah. And then there's the current day John Cusack, well not current, 80s John Cusack, you know, middle-aged Brian Wilson. I don't know about you, I much preferred the John Cusack half of the movie simply because there was an actual plot. That's so funny because I preferred the Paul Dano version. Really? Yeah. But nothing happened. Well, I will give you that. Okay, well, I guess... I, so this movie did I, have... I, yeah, liked, I liked this movie. I liked it. But and I movie, liked both Paul Dano yes. and John Cusack separately. I just feel like Paul Dano didn't have a lot to do. It was basically like they had a bunch of footage from the well, Beach yes, Boys. Well, yes, also filmed totally differently. So the Paul Dano half looks like making up the band. Like yep. It's like a, a documentary style, you know, old time. They put a filter on it, and so you feel like you're watching a different movie. That's cool, but there's no plot, like you said. I guess for me, the reason that I liked it better was that I liked his character mm. better. While, yes, John Cusack looks absolutely nothing like Brian Wilson, he had a sort of sad innocence that he brought to it that I that I got into yeah and it I mean it's it is because he had way more to do yes so his plot line half is Paul Giamatti plays Eugene Landy who is this psychologist who basically took over his life and pumped him full of drugs and convinced him of all these things and was really controlling and really scary and I thought that was the most interesting aspect of the movie, and Absolutely. I thought Paul Giamatti was fucking great. He was. Because I was freaked out. Yeah. You are not hungry, you think you're hungry! But Paul Giamatti definitely, I mean, he's gonna be nominated for his role, I would not be surprised. I hope so. He was, he was really great. And, and he is, he is great. My, John Cusack on the other part, I get what you're saying, right? but for whatever reason, I just couldn't not see John Cusack. I think that's sort of his cross to bear. I think so. And because I love him so much, I was like, I don't care. But I, 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 mean, <laughs> I was like, it's John Cusack. I, I guess my thing I'm is, just excited he's in a movie. Well, <laughs> I, I don't care if it's like a fiction. Right. But when it's like a biopic, that's where it became really hard for me. It was hard because at the same time that John Cusack does not look anything like Brian Wilson, Paul Dano and John Cusack look nothing alike. It felt like two different people. It felt like two different movies, too. Yeah, it did. Because it was shot so differently. Yes. I mean, it was like watching Julia and Julia, and you're like, can we just watch Julia? I really don't care about Julie. I think the thing was, was every time they went back to Paul Dano, I kept hoping that I would learn more about that him. That something interesting would happen. Exactly, that I would see, well, and at least they had, like, the music aspect to it, where at least he was, like, creating different music, and, like, it was, like, a fun exploration of, right. like, Beach Boys and, and experimental music. And, you know, I totally thought they were going to have a whole scene where they were playing with the theremin for Good Vibrations, mm. because... That's the first pop song for like the theremin to ever be, as far as I know, for the theremin to ever be used on. And so I was like, oh cool, they're going to have a... I don't really know what a theremin is. It's that noise where it goes like... Wah! Oh, like I thought it was a magical song, uh, a musical song. No, it's a theremin. Oh. It's like that sci-fi yeah. UFO noise. <laughs> anyway, I thought there would be something about that. Where it'd be like, oh, I'm interested in this. You would think. No. His dad who I think should have been a far bigger character, yep. was, who was abusive and dismissive and never approved, you know, never really gave Brian the recognition that he needed, was kind of like just a side character. Yeah. 
And I really wish there had been more parallels drawn between his dad and the Paul Giamatti relationship because they were so similar. And I think that would have made the flashback scenes way more interesting. The opening credits is a montage of Beach Boys songs. Yep. But it was so... The sound mix was so bad that I was distracted and mad the yeah. whole time. Yeah. Did you feel that way too? Oh my god. The sound design was just too much. <laughs> Halfway through the movie, I was like, I hate the sound design. Everything is too loud. Yep. Everything's weird. And I couldn't figure it out. And then, like, a little past the halfway point, I was like, is this on purpose? Yeah. They're trying to make you uncomfortable. They were trying to make it seem like what he was going through. Right. So, like, if you are going to this movie thinking, like, I love the Beach Boys. I want to watch a fun, like, biopic nope. about the rise and fall of the Beach Boys. Not this movie. That's not what it is at all. No. I oh. think that's part of what they were trying for. Yeah, and so... I like, I guess, that it was out of the box. It wasn't like Ray or whatever, like some standard biopic. It did try to do something different. Yes. And it made me, it affected me. Yeah. And while I didn't have like a blast watching it, it was still a good movie. Yes. Yes. That's all I can say. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>